and welcome back to It's What I Do. Got a tough day yesterday, um, had to try and flatten this uh, ground round aside here for the uh, slabs to go down. Not easy, really not easy. And my compactor is really playing out. Um, serves me right for lending it to someone, but there you go. I managed to get it compacted. It's not level, it's not flat. Um, but it's good enough for me to start laying slabs on it and I can make up the difference with the uh, cement mix that I lay the slabs on so yeah should be okay let me just uh, take you around there and have a look one sec oh let's go around there you go that's that's as far as I've got in a minute um, as I say it's not level but it is solid there's no no movement on that at all so that should be fine for laying the slabs all I've got to do is work out my levels um, it doesn't have to be perfect but I need it I need it level this end definitely because that's where the tanks gonna go for the uh, goldfish so. yeah that was a nightmare to use absolute nightmare but never mind I've done what I can with it now um, I don't really need that I don't I could get rid of it easily enough I suppose just sell it um, sell it off with needs attention because it does um, I can find no diagrams on it whatsoever so I don't know whether there's bits missing or not from when I lent it to that bloke so yeah I think it needs a new carburetor they're not very dear they're about 37 40 quid something like that um so yeah it needs a new carburetor but uh yeah so far so good i'll see whether i can put some more clips on this video um show you my progress the old filters should have been done yesterday um i'm doing them now but it took about three or four minutes to actually get them to boil there's so much crap in there uh, so yeah doing that in a minute once I've done got that done I'll uh, crack on and get this uh, get some space made out here for me cement mixer get me cement mixer around start mixing up some crap um, to lay the uh, slabs onto so right I'll crack on and uh, come back to you in a while just show you the problem that we have um, when you leave these outflows too long uh, uh, I've done that one and I'm just going to turn the air on this one well, typically it's not going to do it the same you can see the solid lump in there and that unfortunately is what happens this one you actually had a solid lump stay there for about three or four minutes um, so yeah that's what what happens when you leave them too long Well, there you go, it's finished. So I put a little raised bed in. I'm not going to walk on it in a minute because it's, it's wet. Um, concrete had dried, um, but unfortunately while I was cleaning the mixer out, I went to take the uh, the dirty water and whatnot to throw down there. Uh, and I knocked the bucket over. So I've had to rinse it down. Um, to get the uh, crappy water off the top so I'll let that dry and then I'll give it a sweep um, but yeah it's done so hopefully on my next day off because I'm back at work tomorrow 
I'll be able to start putting some stuff in, clearing the garden up a little bit. Well, I'm knackered. I really am knackered. That's two days of solid grass to get it that far. Um, would have been a lot easier if the compactor had worked properly, but hey ho. The soil was, soil was compacted but not levelled, which made for an interesting uh, patio lay. Um, the amount of concrete that I've put underneath it, because um, I always lay it on a concrete mix. Um, yeah, the amount of that, some of that's quite thick. Um, but it won't go nowhere. <laughs> Definitely won't go nowhere. Right, well I've had enough for today. So uh, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to go and jump in the bath. And no, you're not coming with me. Um, and I will catch you next time. Bye for now.